Hello, just a quick video today, not a full uh, taking it apart, diagnosing it and putting it back together type thing, but I'm working on this 2012 Tiguan 2.0 TDI and I thought I'd just bring you along. So one of my last videos I was changing the boot latch and I scanned for codes and there were no codes to do with the boot latch but there was a code for uh, throttle position sensor implausible signal or something like that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen anyway so you, you get the right uh, the right idea. So I decided that the most likely issue there was a clagged up throttle valve and that indeed is the case. So just bring you over. This is where it came from. So one, two, three bolts. There are T30 torques. You've also got to take the dipstick off. I've chosen to take the air box or a bit of the air box off. That bit that goes there. And that bit that goes there, so they're off, gives a bit more space. Put a glove over there to stop me dropping anything down it, because that would be really annoying. And have a look at this. Just look at that. Can you see? Just take it outside. Or move against a lighter background, actually, that might work. Look at that. So I now have the deeply unpleasant task of cleaning that out, putting it back together and seeing if the fault code goes away. The engine management light is not on, uh, but I suspect it's only a matter of time before it comes on, which is why I decided to do this now. That's the part number that we're dealing with, just in case you're interested. So I'll give it a clean. I won't video that, that'll be a case of using a blunt screwdriver and some in fact, I'll show you what I'm using. So blunt screwdriver will be stage one. And then stage two will be some of that. Winds diesel EGR extreme cleaner. I've not used this before, so I haven't got a clue how good it is. I bought two cans because I suspected that uh, this might be quite clagged up and thought one might not be enough. So I'll give it a clean, come back, let you know how I get on. Okay, after much cleaning and both cans of cleaner, Got the light so you can see. It's looking much better now. And put a new seal on as well. So we'll put it back together and see how it looks. Okay, so the car's all back together. Deleted the, the code, the P0121 code. Took it for a test drive. Checked for the codes, the code hasn't come back. So it's all good. Noticed as well the throttle response is much better on the test drive after cleaning. It's not really surprising, but it's nice to see that there's actually a, a real change in the drivability rather than just a, a lack of code um, having, having done that repair. So really pleased with that. So I hope that helps. If you've got a similar car or a car with a similar engine, then it might be worth giving it a go. This one had done 83,000 miles and it was thoroughly clagged up. I guess if you don't clean it and you let it carry on in time, the motor controlling the valve just gives up and then you need a new throttle valve, which is a lot more money than the cost of the new seal and the cleaner. So it might be worth a go. Thanks for watching.